Okay, we can start with Merrill Kelly. First question for Merrill. Start with Nick. Merrill, just what can you take from that experience in Philadelphia that can apply uh, on Monday? Uh, I think just the overall experience, right? Um, first playoff game there, first experience in that stadium. Um, so I think walking in, um, even just the visual from the mound, right? So just little stuff like that. Uh, I don't think I've pitched there since, I think that was the first game I've pitched there since 19, maybe. Uh, it's been a while. So just the fact that I um, you know, know the dimensions, know what the vantage point from the uh, pitcher's mound, that type of thing, I think I can take that just the whole game, in-game experience and it'll be, uh, you know, it won't be fresh. more from Merrill. Alex down here in the front. Hey, Merrill. Um, what's it been like to see how you guys have responded to those first couple of games? It's just been fun, man. Um, uh, just the whole team's enjoying themselves right now. Um, you know, uh, I think a lot of people didn't expect us to be here, so I think the fact that we can all kind of come together in that clubhouse and, and kind of cherish that and kind of use that to our advantage, um, I think has been big. But um, I saw that we, we've had four comeback wins in the postseason. Uh, that's kind of been our MO. Um, it's maybe a little bit more stressful at times than I think a lot of us would like. But um, I mean, it's the playoffs. Anything can happen. I think at the end of the day, all that matters is is getting the, getting the W at the end of the day. Um, but we're enjoying it. We're, we're kind of just going along for the ride right now. How much do you think the camaraderie and the relationships in there have helped you guys kind of create those comebacks? Yeah, I think a lot. Everybody trusts each other, right? Even if somebody doesn't get the job done, um, we're not sitting in there hanging our heads and saying, you know, we're done for. Um, it's kind of the next man up mentality. I think if, if someone doesn't do their job, the guy right behind them is going to want to pick him up, not only as a teammate, but just as a, you know, a guy that's gotten to know everybody over the last, you know, six months, seven months that we've been doing this. So I think the closer the team is, obviously it bodes well. Everybody's kind of pulling in the same direction. Teo. Merrill, when you were in Korea, did you ever think about, dream about starts like these, or was that almost too far away to even think about? Uh, every day. Um, when I went over to Korea, like I've, I've said before, my main goal was obviously to, to come back at some point. Um, nowhere in my mind when I was in Korea told myself that this is this was it, right? Um, I never accepted the fact that that was my career. I, I accepted my fact, my, I accepted the fact that, that that was my career at the time um, until the foreseeable future, but I definitely didn't accept that that was my career um, and that was where it was going to finish. Um, I definitely had aspirations of being here, sitting in this room, talking to you guys. Um, and I think that was part of almost my daily routine. Um, the games are on early in the morning over there when I wake up. So it was kind of, I would wake up and kind of check on, first I'd check on, you know, my, my guys, my friends in the league and see how they were doing that day. And then obviously pay attention to the teams that I thought um, towards the end of my time over there that I thought I might have had a chance to come back and contrib contribute with. Um, but yeah, there wasn't, a, there wasn't a day that went by in Korea that I didn't think about um, eventually being here. Get any more special when you, I know you are not getting to pitch a home game in this series, but even even being a road game, seeing a crowd, forty eight thousand people going crazy, does that make it more special experiencing that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, what we're doing right now is every every little kid's dream, right? I mean, when you're in the backyard, and you're playing with your friends. It sounds I, it sounds cliche, just coming out of my mouth as I'm saying it, but um, it's the truth. You know, you ask a lot of guys in this league. Um, that have been lifetime baseball fans, lifetime passionate about uh, the game of baseball. We all dream about being in these situations. Um, you know, obviously the aspirations are usually, the like dreams are usually the World Series. Um, but the fact that we're knocking on the doorstep is, is pretty special. A few more from Merrill. Je uh, Nick and then to Jesse. Follow up on, uh, you, you said you were watching uh, games of teams. Did, were the Diamondbacks a team you thought might be a fit? Did you uh, honestly, no. I didn't hear from them until the day I became a free agent. Um, it's a 10-month contract over there, so you're not a free agent until, uh, was that be through November? Um, so December 1st, actually, it was my wedding day. Um, the, the Diamondbacks gave me a call in the morning, and they said they wanted to get something done. Um, I hadn't heard from them before that. The two teams in my mind were either uh, San Diego or Boston, to be honest with you. Um, and then when these guys called, and not only is it my backyard with my friends and family, but they also trumped, um, you know, the, the two offers that we on the table. So at that point, it was definitely a no-brainer. Jesse, Merrill, are you are you superstitious at all in the dugout watching any of these games? Where you sit, anything along those lines? Uh, a little bit, not too much as I think I used to be when I was younger. Uh, I think when you're younger, you kind of pay attention to that stuff a little bit more. And as you've seen more and more things happen in this game. 
you learn that a lot of things is, are just completely random. You have no control whether you where you sit or what you're drinking or if you had seeds in your mouth at the time or not. Um, I would I would say the only the only rule that I probably follow is is same seats. If we're if we're rolling, if like we had an inning last night, um, if things are going well and the boys are doing good, uh, I would I would prefer if everybody stayed where they were at. But that would probably be my uh, probably biggest and only superstition in the dugout. Barry. Uh, who were the other two teams? Uh, San Diego and Boston. So if, 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 if the Diamondbacks hadn't come in with a higher offer, had you made a decision on which one you would have taken? No, it, it never got that far. Um, that We knew we were getting one-year offers from them, um, and the Diamondbacks came with a multi-year offer. So once uh, the other two teams heard that um, the offer from these guys was multi-year, um, they kind of basically said that I should go ahead and take that one. So basically, I mean, I know you guys think in the present, you don't want to think too much past today. But the fact is that if Zach wins today, you get to go home with a chance to clinch a spot in the World Series. You mean away? Uh, you mean away? Uh, no, but I mean you're you're in. It's your, from where you're from, right? Pretty much. Uh, we live there. I'm not from yeah, there, but we say, live there. Right. So, yeah. and a big deal was made about that before you pitched there the first time. So you get to go back to that area with a chance to clinch the World Series. Do you allow yourself to even think about that, or did you? Is it just like I'm going to center it on today first? Um, I think my mind goes to I'm um, pitching a game to go to the World Series. So it doesn't matter if it's in Philly, um, here, the Moon. Um, in my mind, it doesn't matter as long as I'm pitching a game. Is, is if I'm pitching a game to get to the World Series, um, that's where my mind's at, not necessarily where it's at. Okay, but you are thinking that if Jack wins today, you have a chance to take you to the World Series. You're well, yeah, of course, that's of what that. would that's what would happen if Zach yeah, won today. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I get what you're saying. I, I acknowledge um, when we won when we won yesterday. I'll answer it this way: when we on when we won yesterday, um, you know, there was definitely a thought in my mind that you know, obviously, if we win today, then I would be uh, excuse me um, that obviously I would be the one, um, hopefully, with the ball in my hand to to get us to the World Series. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We'll finish up with Alex in the front. Um, I guess kind of going back to that same subject, um, you mentioned that was on your wedding day. I mean, what was getting that news like for you? <sighs> Uh, it was a crazy day, I'll say that. Um, it was fun. I mean, the fact that I got to tell, um, you know, not only my wife um, on, you know, arguably the greatest day of my life, um, not only that uh, I get to say yes and marry her, um, but then, uh, but the fact that I also, you know, knew that I was completing something that I'd worked my whole life for um, definitely made that day uh, a lot more special than it already started out to be.